Hi guys, I'm Mikhail Pazdernik from Prague ICU. Our next video is dedicated to jugular CVC line insertion, which is one of the most common and important invasive procedures on ICU. Do not forget to go through our CVC line insertion presentation that will give you more useful information and tips and tricks about the topic. Before CVC insertion, place the bed in mild Trendelenburg position that will decrease the risk of air embolism and ensures maximum venous filling. Before scrubbing up, perform a provisional ultrasound to check vein patency and exclude thrombosis. Jugular vein is circular and collapse easily. Use also color Doppler. Scrub the skin with chlorexidine extensively and drape the intended area. Insert the ultrasound probe into the sterile cover. Apply sterile gel on the probe and tie it with rubber band. In awake and minimally sedated patients, skin should be infiltrated with a local anesthetic under ultrasound guidance. Always check the needle tip. Approach the introducer needle at approximately 45 degree angle. Image of a needle tip needs to be followed all the time. Never advance the needle if you are unsure of tip position. Tilting and rotating are common movements of a probe that help to optimize the visualization of the needle tip. Always prevent the puncture of the posterior wall of the jugular vein. When flush of venous blood is obtained, dark, non-pulsatile flow, advance the wire into the needle. Withdraw the needle while leaving the guide wire in place. Double check the position of the wire with ultrasound in transversal and longitudinal views. Dark color of venous blood might be checked again. Make a small superficial incision at the entry point of the wire to facilitate the passage of the dilator. Insert the dilator using a rotating motion. Avoid bending or kinking of the wire. Remove the dilator and anticipate bleeding. Apply gauze pad to minimize the blood loss. Then advance the catheter. Do not advance the line until you have hold of the end of the wire. Remove the wire and check the blood return in all ports. Aspirate and flush all lumens and reclamp and apply lumen caps.
Suture the line to allow four points of fixation. Finally, apply the sterile dressing. At the end of the procedure, use ultrasound to check pleural sliding and other signs to exclude pneumothorax. Attach the center line to pressure bag to allow CVP monitoring. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next videos on Prague ICU.